Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, how to edit a DVD disc in Adobe Premiere Pro. Well, it happens to all editors. You're uh, known to, to be an editor and someone will ask you, can you edit my video? And you say, sure, can you give me the files? And then they hand you one of these things. And you go, ah, really? This is it, what I have to edit? And your first thought might be, you're out of luck. You can't edit a DVD. Actually, you are in luck because Premiere Pro can accept the native files right off of a DVD. Now, although you can edit with this disc in your computer and you're editing the files on the DVD, you don't want to do that. You need to move the files from the disc onto your computer. And on Windows, that might require right-clicking on the disc and choosing Explore and then copying them over. On the Mac, you might just be able to do that on the desktop. The bottom line is you don't want to auto-launch these into a DVD player. All right. These files are also extremely compressed. Remember, they were never meant to be edited. They're .vob files and they're meant to be stuck in a DVD player. So they're super highly compressed. The slower your computer is, the harder it is going to be to decompress these and edit them. But it can be done. Let's go have a look. Okay, so this is the hard drive over or Sorry, this is the DVD. This is the DVD loaded right here and there's an audio TS and video TS folder. If I open up the video TS folder, remember that these drives are not as fast as hard drives, so you'll hear things whirring and clicking and, and making a lot of noise as it reads this. And here are the native .vob file, which stands for video object. It's important to note that not all VOB files on a disk are real videos. Some are menus, some are chapters, some are things that again were only meant to be edited or meant to be played back from a DVD player. So look for the larger things. Anything that's small, you know, 65K or 8 bytes, stay away from that. Look for the big stuff. Those are the video files. And uh, you can see that we're starting to preview all of these. We're still uh, working away at reading these and then creating a thumbnail. The thumbnails are not part of that video, but there they are, they're showing up. And once they're all saved, I can mouse over this area and go back and forth and import these in. And some of these, you can see that this is a video that's used as a menu. I probably don't want that. I'm just gonna grab this one right here. Now, I, I've already brought these in over here just to make it a little bit faster but um, just trust me don't do this from the disk now I have these native VOB objects I can literally just drag them in and start to use them right inside here and edit that's a native dot VOB object you can see that now that I drag them in my timeline they're inside here you don't have to change the format I can completely edit this and take this to, to apart and do a completely new edit on there and there you go it's as simple as that so the next time someone says can you edit goofy guys whistling you tell them absolutely I can do that with Premiere Pro couple things you can't edit uh, protected discs, so if you remember the days of, of uh, Blockbuster or Redbox today, if it's a protected uh, commercial disc, you cannot edit that, and you can't do this for Blu-ray. Well, hopefully you found this informative, and if you did, then please click on the subscribe button for Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com, or in the description below, there's a special URL for your 30-day free trial of Adobe Creative Cloud. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.